There was much pressure on the federal government to start television in Australia from the end of the Second World War, but it was always set aside. This decision was resurrected in the early 1950s with the announcement of the staging of the Melbourne Olympic Games in 1956. Jim Crothers, who was the editor of the Weekend News newspaper, was called in by his boss, the editor of the West Australian, James McCartney, who asked him to find out what he could about television with the idea of starting the first television station in Perth. We had to do plans for the buildings, had to have everything prepared so that we could put it in an application to the control board. We had to work out what staff we would need, what cameras we would need, uh, how long we thought it would take us to get on the air. Total number of technical staff particularly, because there were very few technical people in Australia. Just a hint of what was to come. venue for our 21st of August 2013 video presentation is the RSL Hall in St James between East Victoria Park and Bentley. It is the regular meeting place for the Australian Museum of Motion Picture and Television, commonly referred to as AMT. The hall is located on parkland associated with a recreational reserve on Hillview Terrace which is an extension of Oat Street and runs from Albany Highway to Manning Road. This free event is courtesy of AMT, who will provide refreshments. The evening will kick off at 7.30pm with a 51 minute video covering the 1958 to 1981 TV career of Sir James Carruthers. Following a break for eats and drinks, We'll continue with a session of anecdotes hosted by Gary Carvolth and Audrey Long. Veterans in attendance will be encouraged to participate in the storytelling, which promises to reveal some most amusing yarns. We'll report more on this evening on the WA TV History website.